Well, here we are. I had some issues with this. Uh, let's play a situation here. When, so if, I know these are in the wrong slot, it's on purpose. But I had them in the right slots, two and four. And when I enabled XMP, well, actually it worked fine for a little bit. Like this worked great. It worked, it worked at 5,600 and dual channel, 32 gigs for a week. All right. And then one day XMP disabled itself on, on automatically and it would run at 4,800 megahertz on both of them. And then try to turn it back on, it wouldn't work. It would only register one of the sticks at 5,600. So I turned it, got a different pair, same pair for free from Micro Center. It worked for a bit and it happened again. So at that point, I assumed it was something else. I assumed it was the CPU or the motherboard. Went to Micro Center, the guy told me, put them in this slot and if they don't work, they will replace it. And if I do this, Try to enable X and P up there. You see? Press F10. Yes. So again, these are in the non optimized spots. They're in spot one and three when they should be in two and four. And I know that again, but these one and two or two and four slots also did not work with the X and P. And that was kind of the whole point of getting, you know, this fast of memory is to be able to use X and P at that faster speed. Didn't work. And here we go. Yeah, there we go. It's gonna say overclock fail. There we go. Memory overclock fail. Blah blah blah. Please run it. You know, go run the setup again, pretty much. And there's the thing. Please move it to the non-optimized. So move it to the optimized slot, which is two and four. Right. That's what you should have it in. So we are going to turn that off and go take everything out. Yay. Huh? Looks like we had good double paste on our CPU there. This is, this sucks. I have to know where all these wires go again. Taking the CPU out. Use a mining bracket, guys. It does help, as far as I know. I think all I have to do left is take out SSD and take out the mounting bracket screws, and I should be fine. Remove that. Well, here we are. Cover back on. Take this. Yeah, it should be good. Okay, so it is what, 750. Got back from Micro Center and got the replacement here. So looks good. Same, same design, and everything, and we're gonna drive back home now. Yay! Well, we're back in this mess. I have all the components up here, just like waiting to be put back in. Let's go, Brandon Stewart. That's my boy right there. Oh, well, give the sticker. That's whatever. He already got his, you know, he already got money from selling it. We're good. Motherboard done yet again. Got our two drives, our CPU, and our RAM. And we're gonna put it back in the case. I still have all my cable managing in here. Luckily, I don't have to redo that. Do not forget your IO shields, guys. Do not forget. Slap that in there. If I can get in there, I need to just not record it. Uh, right, we're back here. I feel like my cable management is worse this time in the front, but honestly, I really could care less. This has been, it's all right, but I wish I didn't have to replace the whole motherboard. All right, we're done. Everything works as far as I know. I'm gonna check for XMP in a second. You know, once I get Windows and everything set up. This is upside down. <laughs> it's just my look. Oh, XMP 5600. Okay, let's see if this worked. No way. So all of that and I have this problem. And that's upside down. So I ordered a new CPU, it should be here tomorrow, and I sound defeated right now. I am 
but hopefully the CPU that comes tomorrow works. And if not, then I don't know. Okay, so a few days later, we have our replacement right here. We're gonna go put it in and see if it works. If it doesn't, I don't know. I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, let's take everything out again. Okay. And as you saw, also, I put the CPU cooler heatsink upside down. I'll fix that as well. Once again, taking out the old one. Put the new one in there. We're gonna put our little bracket on top. All right, we got everything back together. I'm uh, pretty sure this is right now. <laughs> but let's put it back on the table and find out. All right, so look at that. Back up. Interesting that it's on this monitor though, but I. XMP one. Wish me luck. Yeah. Okay. I'm now doing a BIOS update. See if this works. New one just dropped like a few days ago, I think. So. All right, and it is yet another day here. And we supposedly have a solution. And it is pretty much that this RAM sucks. This group, this brand, Team Group, or T-Force, whatever you want to call it, uh, is just like not compatible at all with the motherboard. Even though it is, if that makes sense. Like this is, these sticks are compatible because you know, DDR5, they're under 8,000 megahertz, right? That's what this motherboard supports. These are, they're just bad dim slots that it just causes problems. So while the RAM itself isn't defective, uh, it just it, it doesn't work with this motherboard for whatever reason. I couldn't tell you how. So over here we have some Corsair RAM. You all know and love. Corsair is a good brand. And we're gonna put this in here and it is going to work. This is also a huge plug from Micro Center. They really helped me out with this. I had them test it. This is like they came up with, they tried some G-Sco kit. But G-Skill, as we all know, is like the Lamborghini of RAM. And I don't, you know, Corsair is just that, and it's cheaper. I got this for about 20, not 140, so. One, please leave it to the bios. One XMP profile. Two Corsair dim slots at 16 gigs. We're gonna XMP profile one, 6,000. And F10 it. Let's go. Okay, so I feel like now it's pretty important that I talk about my opinions on this experience. So the fact that I tried two sets of this RAM, I didn't show it in the video, but I did return the first set of the, um, the team group RAM back to Micro Center, and I would still have the same issue. So is it just something with team group? I'm not sure. Is it something with DDR5 being newer than DDR4? I also don't know, but what I do know is that the first time I plugged in the Corsair RAM, it worked. And now, when I first built this PC and tested it in that new video, I don't remember looking at Task Manager and remember seeing both sticks registered at that 5600. So it could have just never worked, and I just don't remember. <laughs> and I think that it's a problem that isn't talked about at all. If you look on the internet, there is no other source, Reddit, 
YouTube, any social media, any news outlets or anything. And there's one website where it shows that team group RAM as the best RAM for this motherboard, MSI Z690. So with that being said, is this like a hate message to team group app? No, but do I suggest buying the team group RAM? And I would be hesitant because this pulled out my hair trying to figure out what happened. I replaced everything in the system that could possibly be causing the RAM to act like this, even doing BIOS updates, checking windows, compute, you know, everything. And all the components I had before are fine, and now those components are being searched for problems because I returned them. And they're not going to find anything because there's nothing wrong with them. It just causes a big hassle for everybody. <laughs> so just be careful when you're if you're going to buy a team group RAM. I would suggest just spending, you know, 20 or 30 more dollars to get the Corsair RAM or, you know, any other kit, I would think, <laughs> would be fine. It's just something to watch out for so you don't run into issues like this. Again, so not a hate message towards Team Group. I'm sure they make great products. I'm only responsible for telling you to be careful for this motherboard. Put it on screen what it is. I can't say for every motherboard on the market, but this one is incompatible with that RAM for whatever reason. So I'll have, I guess, both kits linked in the description. You can look at the one that works and the one that doesn't work. And if you have this kit and it works, let me know because I'm pretty interested to see if it's just this motherboard or if it's just a bad kit of RAM and you should buy it.